Guys, good evening. This is yeah. Empress Jack for Evans. Story Boo 151. You know, it seems like it's been a long time since we've been on, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know why. I, probably this week is just was dragged itself along. The, the week long? It must be. Worse. But tonight we wanted to do a review. We haven't done a TV show review tomorrow because there's nothing on that I really want to review. <laughs> but we're going to do a review on the BET Awards for 2015. I loved it. I loved Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Everything was out the park. Mm hmm. Let's start with the pre show. Talk about that a little bit. We had Terrence J that was there. He was from, mm -hmm. you know, Terrence J used to be on 106 and Park and now he's on the E channel, but he worked it. Um, Lala was out there. Uh, Jacob Lattimore was there, but he was uh, streaming live on Periscope. Um, that was fun. Boston. Yeah, Lloyd Boston was there, fashion stylist guru. It was uh, it was cute. They they didn't focus too much on people's outfits and things, but there was more pre-show um, acts. Yeah. Uh, oh, little mama did sausage. I loved that it. That was awesome. She had kids and uh, Dougie Fresh with beatboxing. Yeah. Loved it. Loved it. Absolutely. Uh, who else came out here? Oh, Natalie LaRose. Love that. Mm -hmm. Her and Jeremiah was getting it. Yeah, sure was. Uh, Meek me, Miles, Meek Mills, whatever is how you say his name? Uh, yeah, I think he came out too. He came out. French Montana uh, showed a new video. August Alcina also presented new videos. Mm -hmm. It was okay. Um, I, I had nothing to say about French Montana's. It wasn't really hot to me. And uh, August Alcina's, it was okay too. It was a little bit better than, mm -hmm. than Meek Mills, I thought. Yeah. Um, then we go into the show. Yeah, we have Kend Kendrick Lamar opening up. Uh, with a couple songs uh, off his new album. Yeah, he was great. He didn't do King Kunta, though. Uh, I was waiting I really that. wanted to hear that one, but he did a couple of songs, which was great. Um, you know what I like about Kendrick? He keeps it real. He yes. just looked like a regular dude up there performing. I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. I did, too. And then it was cute because then uh, the host was Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross, and they was doing uh, their version of Conqueror. They were crazy. They were crazy <laughs> with uh, Anthony Anderson in a black leotard dancing around and Tracy Ellis doing some Cirque du Soleil uh, yeah. wire flipping <laughs> and stuff. I thought that was real cute. Yeah. Um, who got the first award? Uh, who got the first award? Good question. Um, I know. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Male yeah. rapper of the year. He got the first award. It was a strong category, I thought, but he deserved it. Um, Best female rapper of the year, uh, they was Nicki Minaj, which is always gonna be Nicki Minaj. I'm not mad about it either. No. Uh, but why did they put Iggy Azalea? In <laughs> trying to be shady. Room? I'm gonna tell y'all, BT, y'all were shady tonight. You know what though? But they had to come up with some people. I felt like you mm -hmm. know. So that was that was different. Yeah. We had uh, what's his name? Uh, with Alicia Keys. Oh, the weekend. Oh, yeah, the everything. weekend. He did some of his song, and then he did a, a song with her playing the piano, which is kind of weird. We never see her. She was on the side, yeah. so to speak. Don't you think? Yeah, she's always the, the <clears throat> star or the main person, but mm -hmm. she was singing with him on Earned It. Some real highlights for me was uh, the Bad Boys came out. Man. That took me back. The 90s was so fabulous with music and bad boys and everything, including Mace was with them. Right, I've lost it. Mm -hmm. came out. Yep, they did a, put a screen down and did a video uh, of different shots of um, Biggie mm -hmm. singing and rapping. The Chris Brown jumped into that. He yeah, was dancing. That was crazy. <laughs> Danced up down the aisle. That was hilarious. Uh, you know what I have to say? Uh, I remember the Swartz Awards and Suge Knight was saying, yeah, and we got producers jumping in the videos. Okay, the producers still jumping in the videos, and where are you? Hmm. So, <laughs> what else was a good? Oh, the Chris Brown Chris thing. Chris Brown. Oh, he started off with uh, Tiger and him doing A. No, 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 no. He did that liquor. Oh, yeah, sure. They did my stuff liquor, and then Tiger came out and they busted out in the A.O. That was fly. That was everything. And then here comes Omarion. Post yes. to be. Post oh. to be. They did. We lost it. We lost it. Yeah, yeah, they was getting down. Omarion and him just turned it all the way up. Really? 
um, supposed to be is a hit. If you don't know about it, you're supposed to be watching somebody else's channel, I guess, because it's a hit. I love it. I'm yeah. here for it. And they really put a lot of high energy in that. That's what the show had tonight. A lot of high energy. Yeah, I like that. Everybody's energy was up and everybody mm -hmm. was ready to do that. Absolutely. They had uh, Smokey Robinson was a, a honoree. They had uh, some white lady, and she really sang. Uh, Tori Kelly. Tori Kelly. She I sang this uh, old song that, <laughs> that he had written for the Jackson Five back in the day. Um, I can't think of the name of it, but that got me. Who's because, loving you? Right. Who's loving you? Because my daughter, uh, who is now thirty-one. Sang that at a talent show. She was in the fourth grade. So every time I hear that song, it brings me to tears. Then they had um, who else sang that? Uh, what's that boy named Robin? Robin Thick and Neil. Mm hmm They both sang different songs. And then uh, uh, Smokey came up. But he 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 did his award speech like a prayer, didn't he? he? It was a prayer. It was a sermon. You got some church with Smokey. Yes, he did. <laughs> and he was really on point, saying, "Don't drink the 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 juice of your own." fame glory whatever because there's a lot of people waiting in line for that spot you're not at the beginning of the line you're not at the end of the line and you're not the only the only people right so get off that ego kick and i love that and the way he put it out there was just it was it was graceful you know what i mean it wasn't yeah. insulting it wasn't harsh nope. and he had a, he had it all framework as if he was praying he started off with dear heavenly father he just went on from there yeah but awesome. he did an awesome acceptance speech um don mcclarkman was there he did uh they, they cut the gospel way down and he did one song by in in remembrance of andre crouch one of andre crouch songs he told that up yeah absolutely you know donnie mcclarkman he's gonna get it mm-hmm uh, who else we have? We had uh, Janet came on too. Oh, oh we had yeah. the tribute. I, I was scared at first. I'm like, okay, y'all don't please don't mess up Janet, please, y'all. And what they had was Tanasha, they had Sierra, and they had Jason Derula, all the people that can actually sing and dance. Mm -hmm. And each one of them had a different dance. And Sierra had two, including Rhythm Nation. And um, they were just fantastic. They didn't yeah. sing, they actually just danced each three different. Uh, performances mm -hmm. and then they put on that new song by no Janet No Sleep next thing you know here she comes sashaying out looking like oh. an angel in all that white and all that hair she looked was gorgeous beautiful, I was crying she came, I'm like Janet you know what I did too I really got choked up on that that right. was just so touching you know we haven't seen her right. in so long she blessed her parents, her husband, which, you know, she never claims to be with anybody. Right. She talked about how she really missed her fans and stuff. She did not perform, but we knew that she wasn't going to perform. They yeah. said that on the pre-show. But just seeing her, you know, all you could think was her and Michael and right. just all of that. It was very emotional. So I look forward to her album mm -hmm. and we'll be back in Vegas by then. So maybe she'll stop in Vegas and do something. But that was phenomenal. Empire came on. Oh, Empire was everything. They did three songs, did No Apologies, Drip Drop, and You're So Beautiful. I love the way Jesse did it. He came out he did a little speech on um gay marriage mm -hmm. and he was black singing. lives matter mm -hmm. he and went to singing. they were great shout out to yes and jesse smiling they were everything i thought terrence was going to do i did too uh, he you were so stage. beautiful yeah, he came on and introduced him and stuff but they were they were awesome everything that you wanted they mm -hmm. were there i saw taraji there too on the pre-show she had like a pink outfit with mm -hmm. one leg showing but uh she didn't perform. No. Who else was a big performance? Uh, who else? Um, oh, Tamar and Tamar. K. Michelle mm -hmm. kissed and made up. Yeah. And um, Tamar or K. Michelle did her performance thing. Tamar came out and did hers. Tamar dress was everything. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, it was so appropriate for the night, and the color was gorgeous. It was gorgeous on her skin. Her hair matched it. Mm -hmm. She did an apology to K. Michelle and she said that she forgave her as well and we you know and it's true with so much drama in the world what are we what do we got to fight about we got no. so called everything right but then they they sang they sang and then lo and behold they pulled the curtain back and Pat LaBelle joined she them she was there oh my goodness she sang her lungs out she did you <laughs> couldn't even hear them no more she nope. dropped about I, tw I tweeted 
that uh, Panda Bill is giving free voice lessons to the lady. <laughs> Take them. Yeah, yeah, but that was a, a very touching um, performance, I thought, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I love Nikki's first speech when she won the award. She brought her mother on stage and she was all emotional, and mm-hmm. thanking all the fans and stuff. Yeah, her and. Uh, What's her name? Meek Miles. They did a performance. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was okay. You know, I left the room at that time and came, but came back. But it was okay. You know, mm-hmm. it wasn't like giving me everything, to be honest with you. Not really. I would have rather have seen Nikki do something because she got best, um, like I said, best female rapper. Right. So the pink print was a major hit. So she could have did something off of that. Yeah. But you know what? For the most part, everybody kept it really classy. Mm-hmm. Um, they honored Tom Joyner. Yeah. They did some remembrance of B.B. King, Ben E. King, and um, Percy Sledge with Anthony Hamilton. And somebody else sang it, singing on that. So mm-hmm. that was really a nice remembrance of them and some other artists and, and people that we know of. Yeah. Like what's that do? Just got paid oh, Friday night. Johnny Kemp. Johnny Kemp and all the different pictures up there. So that was real special. Definitely. But you know what? It was a long show. It was from eight and it went on to about eleven thirty. But every minute was worth it. We it were really screaming was. and hollering and everything. But you know who they had on there supposed to be on there? It was Rich Homie Quan. He wasn't yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah. Uh-uh. And that little boy, uh, what's the name? Salento? Yeah. Yeah. He did a... Uh, Watch me. Work. Who didn't name that? Yeah. All that. <laughs> that was cute. And they had the little kids from... Uh, um, what's Blackish. the name of show? Blackish and along with uh, Anthony Anderson Tracy Ellis Ross dancing with him that was super super cute definitely Um, I, you know what I'm going to give it a 10 you know yeah it gets a 10 oh BT y'all was messy when Chris Brown's up there performing y'all flashed Rihanna and she Rihanna had a big roll of masking tape in her hand and everybody was dragging her on Twitter about what she was going to do with yeah. that masking tape because in between that they had put up their um What's her name? Sanai Lathan, Morris Chestnut, and Michael Ely doing mm-hmm. some mu- some movie called The Perfect Guy. Mm-hmm. And Michael Ely ends up playing some kind of crazy guy hiding up on a Sanai Lathan's bed. So they were saying that that's what, um, you know, Chris Brown was going to do to Rihanna. Yeah. Then they were saying Rihanna was going to tape up Karuchi. And- right, because they were all there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't know why she had the tape. And then they showed a part where she tore some of the tape and put it over uh, Floyd Mayweather mouth because mm-hmm. he was trying to talk to her to her too much. Um, she was her usual attitudinal stuff, like I'm over it type mm-hmm. of, of way. But um, when Chris got up there and started doing his thing, at first if you saw her face, she looked real salty. She but then really, when the cameras came on and she was aware of that, then she started smiling and doing a little singing. Yeah. I'm like, girl, don't hate. I was like, I was like, girl, I was like, we see you. And then they had Big Sean do I Don't Give a Fuck. Yeah. And uh, Chris was all into that. You know who sure he was, was singing to about that. Mm-hmm. He, he don't give two. You know what's about. No. And Karuchi was there. Yeah. For what? It was like the love on the, triangle on the pre show. She had on a little top look like, what you said it looked like? Reese's Reese Peanut, Peanut Butter Cup. cup. <laughs> that look like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup holder. And she had nothing to put in it and a little shirt. Lacy shirt and hair. Yeah, so I don't know why she was there. And then, you know what? Usually, I'm okay with Amber Brown, but Amber, Amber Brown, Amber Rose. <laughs> but she bugged me tonight because her and Black China came, and they looked like two thirsty thoughts with been dumped. Okay, they both came as each other's date, and they were supposed to be representing that. Uh, the the uh, it's official that everybody can be gays can be married in every right. state um, with matching outfits on, and um, I was not here for it. Mm-hmm. I mean, perhaps there was some intention in that, but for me to be honest with you, I felt the intention was to get on camera. Yeah, absolutely. You know why is all of a sudden your thoughts is on camera now? Okay, y'all not together. Y'all 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 superstars gave them a little shine, gave right. them their little fifteen minutes. And they thirstily trying to hold on to it. Yeah. Please go somewhere and sit down. If you're so over that person that you're dealing with, then you don't need to be nowhere they are. No. You could trust and believe that if I work with somebody and we were a couple, now we broke up, 
I'm not going to the company picnic. No. Why? Because I know you're going to be there. Exactly. I'm not going to the clubs we used to go. Why? Because you used to, because you go there. Right. I'm not trying to see you. Nor am I trying to prove that I'm I'm hard or I'm a strong woman. I'm already that. I don't need to prove that by showing up. So Absolutely y'all could have took several seats, please. Several I was not seats. there for that bullshit. Right. Thirsty, thirsty heifers. I'm not I here for it. No clue why. Um, Karuchi was there. Rihanna was there because she was up there presenting and talking about her new But music. Rihanna is a superstar. She can go yeah. anywhere she want to go. I'm right. talking about these other folks. I'm putting it like that. These other folks. Really? So, yeah. Um, overall, I thought it was really great. Mm -hmm. I danced a lot. I sang a lot. Like I said, mm -hmm. I wish that Rich Homie Quan was there. Yeah. I really wanted to flex on that. Um <laughs> But it was great overall. If you taped it, please watch it. If Absolutely. you didn't, you know, BT, it will be back on again and you'll be able to catch it. I'm going to give it a 10. Um, if you guys like it, hit it up and tell me what you like and what your best and favorite moments are. There's so many that really? I don't know if we can remember them all, but those are some of the highlights that we do remember. Definitely. But thanks, guys. Yeah, definitely. Um, I totally agree. I give it a 10 as well. I say best BT Awards of the New Millennium. Absolutely. You guys have a great night. See, See you tomorrow for your reading.